The Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame will be inducting its class of 2015 Friday at the Buckhead Theater. All week, we'll take a look at the careers of the five inductees. Today, a look back at the career of Georgia Tech linebacker George Morris. He was the captain of the 1952 National Championship team and was named All-American that season. Cody Chaffins has his story. We wanted to win. We wanted to win. And we had good athletes. We had, you know, some good players. And George Morris was one of the best for the undefeated and national champion 1952 Georgia Tech Yellow Jack. The unbeaten Georgia Tech team races onto the field from the south gate. Coach Dodd at a luncheon back in the 80s in front of my dad's peers to refer to my dad as the greatest player that he ever coached. And he's always Coach Dodd to me. You'd have to beat me to say Bobby Dodd, yeah. you know. A great coach, a great team, and the heyday of Georgia Tech football. And Morris was in the middle of it all. Captain Pal Miller and George Morris of Georgia Tech. He was really smart. He understood the game uh, extremely well, and that's what Coach Dodd uh, liked about him. However, this time, Spires fumbles, and George Morris recovers for Tech on the Ole Miss 44. And, and we did a lot of things on defense that a lot of people in the country were not doing because of experience level and intelligence level. The accolades that Morris has received are numerous. These are just some of the scrapbooks that I've gotten. He had an opportunity to be on the uh, Jackie Gleason show. One thing that was kind of cool, they all had nicknames for one another. Like my dad's nickname was The Head. He was drafted by the uh, San Francisco 49ers as the uh, their uh, first round draft pick, I think it was five or six overall that year. And his career didn't end there. Morris then became a referee for the Southeastern Conference for two decades. He could handle the sidelines real well. He could communicate with the coaches and he loved being around the players. And, uh, and he was a very good football official. And all the time, Morris made his mark in his adopted home of Atlanta, a city that brought him from Mississippi and a city that will honor him February 6th. <laughs> But here comes George Morris up from behind to dump him on the five-yard strike. Uh, he was a he was a really great football player uh, on a really great team uh, that was coached by a number of really great men. Cody Chaffins, Fox 5 Sports.